saw the last time. <coughs> we considered a, a real manifold and uh, we considered a projection to M. We add one variable and we defined the uh, the, the derived category of enhanced indices. So that is the sheaf, the derived category of indices on this product space. And we neglect the indices that comes from the base space. So we Consider those objects as zero objects. Okay. <coughs> okay. And then it becomes a monoidal category by the tensor product, a kind of tensor product or convolution, and it has inner home. <coughs> and uh, for morphism, Manifold or the real spaces, we can define the direct image functor and inverse image functors. <coughs> F shriek, F inverse. <laughs> And it behaves just as uh, the usual theory. And uh, so uh, we can uh, work in this category. <coughs> OK. So now we want, I want to introduce the notion of constructible sheaves. Uh, con are constructible. Sheaves or in the sheaves. <coughs> okay, so so M be a sub-analytic space. So it means more or less locally M is isomorphic to the closed sub-analytic set, subset of Rn. Okay. So in, in, in this case, we set up the sub-analytic space. So, you, so you, in general, you want something which is an atlas where transition maps are locally sub-analytic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, or you, you can consider that is a ringed space and whose ring is a sub-analytic and continuous function on this sub-analytic set. So the, that is a, a ringed space, R ringed space, which is locally isomorphic to the ringed space associated to a closed sub-analytic set. Okay. So then you can define a sub-analytic subset of M and so on. So uh, recall that subanalytic set is more or less the smallest subcategory th that is invariant by taking the complements, finite union, finite, uh, and, uh, and, and any image of a proper real analytic map is subanalytic. And also local nature. You, so you want something that is just locally separated? Yeah, the, the, that is a corollary. I think that is a, a corollary of the, those properties. I think so. Yes, I think so. Which property? The property. So that is a small subset, or small subset, small family, or, so or smallest, smallest family of subset of subsets of real, say, real analytics 
number manifold. Number manifold, say M. And that is uh, stable by taking a. a you said finite. Ah, okay. Uh, the, the local, it must be locally finite. In it. Otherwise, you can do something more, yeah, yeah. more complicated yeah, yeah. as you go to infinity. Yes, a uh, local finite, yeah. Then, yeah, I think it's okay. Okay, anyway, so. <clears throat> So we consider a category of it are constructively indices of uh, M tensor R infinity. So it means our object is R constructible. It means there is the okay finite covering, <clears throat> the open covering, such that every UI is subanalytic in the closure of R, R by is say P1R, and such that any Homology group on each UI is a local constant of finite. finite. Okay. <clears throat> so, we take that. so now definition. So now you consider K, say, so that is a uh, enhanced indices, so that is a element. Of say it is so I K M is R constructible if for any locally closed open subset U and plus sub analytic open subset. There is, there is F in, uh, I think it doesn't matter so much, but our constructive sheaves such that uh, uh, KU tensor or pi inverse KU tensor uh, K is isomorphic to KM if it, you know, KM E tensor plus F. So in the definition, yes. you wrote for every, but you made exist. It exists, yes. Ah, no, 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 the no, no, left. no, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought otherwise it, it does not make sense. And constructible sheets, not in sheets. No. Mm -hmm. Here on the left, you define. Yes. Well, there are sheets. Yeah, that is a sheep. Not, not in sheep. Not in the sheep. Not in. I hear. Ah, no, I'm sorry. So that's a. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. That is, that is a sheep. And so that is. Constructed from the shift. That part is important. Otherwise, yeah. So, so the, that is a definition. Mm. And why it is useful? Yeah, and shift and it's shift on m, not on m prime seven. Ah, yes, yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah. That is, you're right. M cross R infinity. I'm sorry. <clears throat> so I will suffer proportion. So that is so let M 
the category of it is a category the full subcategory of of uh, constructive indices enhanced indices then that is a triangulated so if you, you have a distinguished triangles and if two terms uh, are constructive then the other the last term is also are constructive and locality I think it uh, I'm not like explicitly but locally if uh, uh, it, 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 if uh, enhanced industry if it is are constructive locally then that is our constructive global. Okay. <clears throat> so why that is important? There are many things, but one is the foreign. So assuming that F you have, so that is one of the reasons. Yeah, here it is not necessary are constructive but uh, so uh, and support say f f prime and you send it so the art is uh, compact then you can to calculate home KME, tensor plus, F. So those are the, this term. F prime. So that is, that is E. Okay, M. So that is just F, uh, K, F prime, and oh, limit. You take an inductive limit and that is the well, it doesn't matter so much. Okay. And so. so considering the supports they are closed in M tensor. Well you, you can take it that yeah. So so that so that closure is compact. The closure of the intersection? Yeah. Oh, no 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 po yeah yeah you, you you can take intersection. Yeah, the, 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 that that is okay. That part is important. But anyway, you, 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 you. anyway, so so it, you, it usually it is not easy to calculate home between the arbitrary indices. But in this case, so those are for sheaves, so you can calculate it rather easily. And the limit stabilized for some large A. Yeah? Uh, I don't think so. No, 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 no. no. Ah. Let me see. Ah, because we consider compact. I, uh, yeah, p perhaps yes, but uh, I don't know. I think, think because we are assuming constructive and uh, that is compact, I think it should be, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there are other things for our constructive sheaves, good things for our constructive sheaves that in fact we use it later. So it is the, the, that behaves like the, your constructive sheaves. And we need the following fact, it is stable by the duality functor. So we define the duality functor. Okay, is or that's where omega m e is uh, pi inverse m. So that is a dualizing sieve, topological dualizing sieve. Uh, okay. 
And you coco is <coughs> So, theorem of proposition is, <coughs> ah, yeah, that's, it, I'll give many properties uh, for our constructiveness. So, if k1 and k2 is our constructible, then there are tensor product convolution and E on. So they belong again constructive. Okay. <coughs> and uh, so that is stable by the tensor product or the convolution. And that is stable by the duality. So if k is uh, constructible, then it's dual is uh, constructible <coughs> and uh, the dual over dual, there's a canonical map morphism to the by dual and that is a natural phase. <coughs> In fact, that, that comes from the following fact, DEM uh, KME plus F, assume that, that is uh, D, it are constructible, sheaves, no, no, not in the sheaves, but construct one, then that is uh, tensor plus F. So here, this one is a topological dual. So the F is um, the usual one, F plus R. So that, that is a very dual in the usual sense. And A is a antipodal map, xt goes to x minus t. Okay. <clears throat> so we know that the duality factor transforms the sends the R constructive sheaf to R constructive sheaf, so it must be R constructible. And uh, by duality, it also follows from the fact that R constructive sheaves are stable as the pi dual over the R constructive sheaves are R constructive sheaves. <coughs> what did you like below the M tensor RF? Hmm? A? Ah, you mean oh, this one? Mm -hmm. uh, antipodal map x t goes to x minus t. Ah, uh, yeah, antipodal the ah, A? Yeah. x t to x minus t. So you ch ch change the sign. Yeah, because plus is given by contra covariant, but that is home, so so that's, there is a sign change. Okay, so as a corollary, for example, yeah, that is a, in a the usual shift case. I think that is a very well known formula. So you c consider home functor, the dual of home functor is 
the you know, or so that is a almost So that is a usual way. And so they are stable. Our the property of our constructor is stable by the direct image, a direct image, if uh, for, for say, say f is proper and the inverse image. Okay, so those are the properties. So, <clears throat> Hi, at upper shriek. So they are stable by two inverse images and proper direct images. Oh, yeah, or oh, uh, direct image by the proper map. Okay, I think that is the uh, way. So now. We want to consider the Riemann Hilbert problem for irregular case. And the idea is we work always in this category. And then, uh, more or less, that all the things is more or less similar way as the, the regular, the regular holonomic case. <clears throat> okay, so so first we discuss about the most typical irregular holonomic modules. So that is exponential module. Okay. <clears throat> so. We work on a complex manifold. And a memory function, a memory function on X with a pole in y, that is a closed, closed hypersurface. Of y, okay. and of x. You take that. <clears throat> And then uh, we consider the following module, phi. So the attitude d over p, p such that p equals zero, say outside y. So you, you, you can calculate it algebraically, so there is no problem. And you divide it. So that is a, a coherent left ideal of D. So we shall denote it by D. And D is 
we denote x phi. So that is d e phi star y. So the, that is by the definition O x O x star y. So that is a chief of metamorphic functions whose poles are contained in y. <coughs> okay, so they are the holonomic models. And that is as OX module isomorphic generated by one element. If I the corresponding the correspond to the generator of this. <coughs> okay. So Not a good reason, but yeah. So the theorem is so now you consider the drum of axy phi. So that is. Home here and the X where U is a complement of Y and so that is a in the sheaf. Such that the real part of phi x is smaller than a. So that is an open subset. So you consider local the constant shift on it and you extend it to the zero outside. And uh, because the art is increasing, so you so that gives an inductive system of sheaves and you take the lead. And dx is dimension x. <coughs> so that is it. So I think uh, <coughs> I'll not give the proof, but it, uh, I'll give some remark. Recall that drum xt or u phi x phi. So that is omega x t tensor uh, dx. Uh, e, so d e phi star y. <coughs> and we can easily see that that is again equal to star y tensor dx. D e phi star y. <coughs> and then It is rather easy to calculate. To see. So this part is t is in home C U or R yeah R home C U And this one goes through. So that is 
why here is zero. So it means that if you know this one out, to outside y, then you can recover this one. So, so for monomorphic one, the drum complex is rather easy to calculate. So that is one mark. And uh, yeah, perhaps that uh, I think I will not give the proof for that. Okay. Excuse me, do, do you need to solve uh, the singularity proposal to resolve the singularities of pi to compute by push forward? Uh, uh, we don't need it, in fact. Yeah, well, let, let me see. Uh, so, so the proof is we reduce to the one-dimensional case, more or less. Uh, and in the one-dimensional case, uh, so one-dimensional case, that is uh, exponential x plus the solution to this one. So d over dx minus 1 uh, and minus i zero and for this part so that or that is exponential x and exponential i y and for this part that is tempered so you can transform to the usual one by by multiplying exponential i y so that is not important then for this one so that is a a well-known result on the ordinary differential equations. Huh? I did it in my class. Ah, you did, did it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. But finally, one needs uh, the Volac or one needs the no. uh, Perhaps not, but I don't, I'm not quite sure because the, we use the fact that O x or y tempered one is stable. So, for example, we use the fact that if there's a map from x to y, it, this one is say f, f and y. So, first we use such kind of things. I'm not quite sure because that is a, that is based on on the theory of tempered distribution or tempered homomorphic function. So uh, I didn't check that if it doesn't. Uh, so the, it, in some sense, it's a very long st step proof. So. OK. <clears throat> so that can be calculated in this way. <clears throat> Now, let me see. So now we work in an enhanced category. So we will define uh, for it all in the enhanced category. So, so that is, I'm going to explain enhanced uh, tempered homework function and so on. <coughs> so, First, let us take a real analytic manifold, and that is M, sorry, P. Say P is P1R, a compactification of R, and 
Of course, that is contained in P. P is P C. <coughs> so say J. So we first define the temper distribution on the border space M times R as an inverse image of And perhaps next <coughs> we consider following shifts. So that is now and uh, so that is D T R P plus R infinity T. Here, so that is a left DP module, and that is a corresponding right module. So it means explicitly by the differential equation for ET, that is the M cross R infinity to D over DT minus one uh, DV M cross R infinity T. And here degree minus one, here degree zero. So it corresponds to the, that complex. <coughs> it turns out that the cohomology group, so that is a in the sheaf on M times R infinity. So the cohomology is concentrated minus one. So it means this morphism is subjective, epimorphism. And uh, there's a, so that is equal to the, the kernel of this one, shifted by one. <coughs> okay. So that is a DBE, DB. And then we can prove the following C. So this one, plus uh, DB and cross. is so that is more or less the corresponding enhanced initiative is stable so we do not e M, so that is a, a corresponding element in I, C, M. It has to in the shift on M. Corresponding to the correspond, at the correspond to DB, R, uh, DB, T, T, okay. <coughs> So that is a, it corresponds to the distribution, the temper di distribution. Uh, that is an enhanced version of the temper distributions. Oh, yeah. Capital T. Ah, capital T. I'm sorry. Okay. And so now. You consider X a complex manifold. And 
and then we define OXE. So that is a corresponding double complex. So that is omega XE tensor DXE tensor distribution DX. X you consider as a real analytic manifold, then you can define this enhanced indices. And so that is a XC is a complex conduit. So it is nothing but the usual turbo complex. Mm -hmm. No shift? Oh, no shift? I don't think so. No shift. Uh, there about complex. So that is a double complex. Okay. So the yes. So that corresponds to the to the shift of holomorphic functions, what tempered holomorphic functions. So for example, if x is point, then OX or point B. E. So that is a DB point E. And that is C point E. So that is a limit is infinity. Okay. <clears throat> so the, in this case, that is a constant shift to the corresponding with the constant. <laughs> okay. So let me see. So the idea is we replace all the thing to the uh, enhanced version. For example, uh, we define enhanced drum. For D module, so that is omega xe sam or solution is x m o x e, where omega x e is omega x. So, XE. so you just tends to the invertible shift of the highest degree differential of differential forms. <coughs> so that is a left and yes. So there is a left action of D and no the right action of D, so you can take the home, then that is the and solution also. Of course that is Isomorphic to gram x, dxm, let me see. First, there is some shift, up to shift. Minus dx, let me see, zero, minus d. Oh, I think so. If m is a hormone. Or oh, the coherent is in there. Anyway, <clears throat> so th there's a drum functor and solution functor in the enhanced category. So that is uh, what we use. So we replace all the operations 
to this category. Ah, so here take two pull back to dx and m to this that things are infinity here because but no no if omega x e extended its object on m times x. Ah yes yes so so I think uh, I don't know plus yes that is plus better to write pi inverse or well, it depends yeah omega x. Where pi is a x tensor r to x. That's better to write it. So the following is almost trivial. Um, Xm is stable. You call that a st stable means there are many characterizations that is Cxe, tensor drum Xe, M is drum X. M or the ohm. It's the same, but and that comes from the fact that uh, oh, oh, I didn't. Let me see. I'm confused. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So from this, it implies that dBE m is stable. So then OXE is stable again, and drum X is stable again. So they are stable object. <coughs> OK. So. So, yeah, so now we want to study the drama of the holonomic system or, or those kind of things. And the strategy is very similar to the regular case. I think in the lecture of Shapira, you learn that the, we reduced the, those property to the simple case with normal crossing singularity case. And in a usual, in a irregular case, that is similar. So in a regular case, so any module, is more or less given by the T over. You can reduce those kind of things. Okay. <clears throat> and in a irregular case, it's a little bit more complicated. I think that I explained in a one-dimensional case. And in a several dimensional case, that we have to use the result of Mochizuki and Kedraya, that I'm going to explain now. So, so in regular case is a little bit complicated. So that I'll explain. So recall that I think that is already done by Shapira. So you take a complex manifold, so normal form, 
normal. <coughs> of irregular holonomic modules. So you take a complex manifold and D, uh, normal crossing. Hypersurface. Okay. <clears throat> then you can define a real blow up along the fiber. Positive. I think that is explained by Pierre Chapier, and it is contained. And, uh, ambient space and local picture is x is c and minus r so that is a local picture and d is uh, zero inside normal crossing hypersurface and x is And x and I don't know, is and she tilted it. I don't know, for example, that Tz such that is one. See? And there is a map to C, Tz, Tz. And C is Tz. And so on. Okay. <clears throat> so that is a local. I think that is already explained by Shapira. And so, so, so that that is isomorphic. The com complement of D is isomorphic to this one, and the x tilde is a closure of x tilde positive, and uh, x tilde. Total is a germ of the of a real analytic manifold contain x tilde, <coughs> and uh, so say J, and uh, we call that A is a homework function defined on x theta okay, or x the complement of d such that f is tempered. I think that is already explained, so I will not proof. <coughs> and the, so it contains pi inverse O X or pi inverse O X. Okay. So that is a so that is a algebra, it contains pi inverse O X. Yeah, perhaps a little bit more. And you define dx theta a, so you just invest dx. So that is a chief of differential operators with coefficients in a. And uh, MA 
is tangent tensor, say pi minus one x minus m for m is uh, dx. <coughs> so that is the corresponding dxa mode. Okay. Yeah. So now I want to give the corresponding irregular case of what is the corresponding one, the canonical one. So that is we call normal form. So a holonomic dx module. Well, has a normal form along B. So we assume that we have a compressed manifold X and the normal crossing divisor D. If and only if it satisfies certain condition. First condition is M is meromorphic. Okay. And M is, uh, I don't know how to say, M is a normal connection. So there are many ways to say it, but it is a coherent OX model. So it, it must be a locally free OX model of finite rank. And the differential gives a meromorphic connection with pose D. So that is a one condition. And <clears throat> another condition is a rather complicated. <clears throat> so, so more or less, Locally on x tilde, it, that is asymptotic to the exponential modulus. So that is a condition. More precisely, the, that is the following thing. Uh, let me see. So you take for any point in pi inverse d. <coughs> You can take a neighborhood of by of p in x and neighborhood in x tilde and phi i. So that is a memory function with pole on D, phi i. So that is a finite number of finite family of memory functions such that MA, MA is this one, you pull back to x tilde and uh, you tensor A. So that is DA module. A module. <coughs> and you consider locally on X tilde, so you restrict it to a neighborhood of P. Then that is. So that's a final sum. So it, it means more or less if you go up to the x tilde and you constant in the category of A modules, you permit uh, A, then that is equal to the exponential 
とか。もうじゃないです。あ、okay. <笑> so that is a normal form. So we replace the, the that regular one to the this one to the this one. Okay. So. So in general, the normal form theorem is so in terms of so that could lie the normal form theorem. Can you state it? Uh, can you state the normal the you said the reason theorem of uh, uh, no Suzuki and I put this is yes. Yeah, so I think I saw it in some talks. Yeah. Can you say exactly what the theorem is? Ah, uh, yeah, no, 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 I will tell you. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. So that part is important. Yeah. And in fact, that is a little bit complicated. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so, what happened is so, first, Mochizuki proved in a, uh, in a in an algebraic case in a formal setting. And then Kedera proved uh, a similar normalization program for in an analytic case. And then Mochizuki proved another one. So, so that is A. A means more or less we consider it asymptotic expansions or something like that. So you remember that. So in a one-dimensional case, there are two statements. One is every one has a, so a formal solution of some form. And the second one is, in fact, there is a solution. But that is asymptotically equal to it. And you employ A, it means more or less asymptotically equivalent. And formal and asymptotic is a little bit different. And there is a classical technique to go from formal to. Okay, but so is there a fo the formal theorem is what? That if you have a. a, a uh, yeah, that, I think uh, it will, it will, I'll explain a little bit later. Uh, yeah. We have a uh, 15 minutes break. Or let me see. We shall start at 3:45. Okay. So here we defined the normal form along a normal crossing divisor. So it is a normal connection outside D that is asymptotically more or less asymptotically equal to the exponential modulus. Upstairs, I mean, in the real blow up. <coughs> and, but it is not enough as uh, I think it appeared in the question of GABA. So we define another notion. M has a, a KSI normal form. So it means so locally take a coordinate such that d is given by r equals zero. And you take a covering, say you take mk. And you take the covering, say, uh, say, to and all. So the, co the usual covering. So you could consider the ramification along with the divisor 
such that star m. So you pull back. Oh. Uh, M has a normal form along the uh, inverse. Okay, so that is a covering <coughs> case. Okay, so then we can state the Re re result of Mochizuki and Kedraya in a asymptotical form. Let me see, I think that is. So it consider x a complex manifold and m is a holonomic to the x model. And you take a point, and then after the blow up, so then there is an open neighborhood of x. And uh, uh, x uh, um, map, projective map, and y cause subspace, y cause per surface, or well, it doesn't matter so much. But. And uh, x prime, and say f, f inverse. Y is normal crossing. Hypersurface. <coughs> and you pull back M and you localize D. So it has a normal form. Has a norm I'm sorry, KSI normal. F is uh, one to one outside of Y. Hmm? F, okay. F is uh, identity outside of Y. The snap F. Now X prime has the same dimension. Oh, oh. D is a F. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. So X prime over D is you know, Y. I'm sorry. I forgot one condition. So that's that, that, a blow up. <clears throat> so here, yes. the, the x prime is a. Uh, ah, okay, you, you like it. Is, uh, yeah. uh, so so, so the, uh, it, that is locally on x. I think uh, so, first, it, uh, it, uh, it, uh, I'll comment something. So. First, uh, so it Mochizuki proved in algebraic case, and Kedera proved in analytic case, but not in that form, but uh, in the following form, you have an x, and you consider compression of x tilde, so that is a compression, more or less a compression of x along d. <clears throat> and you can consider dx, so that is ox dx. Then I think that is dxm. So, so which change? This condition with this. The condition uh, dx uh, e here. Okay. 
So you there's a phi i and so on. So ah yes. So that's more ah. So yeah, no, no, I, I'm sorry, we need something else. So it's a little bit, uh, so plus some log term and, uh, and uh, data lambda term. So, uh, or plus L, right, LY. So that is regular, say, regular local system, regular holonomic D mod. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, yes, I'm sorry. So, so I mean, uh, we replace the condition of normal by this condition, and then what uh, Kate Raya and Mojic first proved that uh, not formal one, but in a, ah, not in a simple sense, but in a formal sense. M has a case I know. I mean, you after can know the whole divisor, or hmm? there are several completions. You can either complete at each point, or for an affine open. Ah, uh, so it is, that is local. Uh, that is local one. Yeah. Local yeah, yeah, yeah. Or well, on D or. That's a local condition. So you take, let's say, a fine open and you complete along the yeah. or you get to stratify and complete along no, the same no. hmm? Because he say, Saul says that it's a completion along strata. Rather than, I'm not sure exactly what is it. But, but I, I no, the, that is okay. But the, the, the condition, yeah, it's. No, the, 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 that is a definition. Okay. Yeah, the, that is a de okay. definition, and you change. Uh, normal. I mean, this condition with this condition, and you de define case and normal in this way. Then, what they first proved is in algebraic case by Mochizuki and in analytic case by Kedwea, this statement. So, since so it's a local, the CI are defined well. Are they defined after the blow up or after? After the blow up, of course. Yes, yes. In other words, the idea is that... Yeah, phi i is uh, upstairs. Phi i is not metamorphic, huh? Not... Mm, uh, yeah, it yeah. is metamorphic, but uh, it is... No. After all, it's defined locally yeah. upstairs. Yeah, yeah. I think we don't... Uh, I think there is, but it's... Uh, yeah, upstairs, or upstairs. So, uh, so <laughs> this is just a definition, then you yeah. say that the group... No. So, phi i is in. Well, yeah. No, but the formal version. Yeah. Yes. In a formal version, so for any point in D, you can find uh, the neighborhood such as on that neighborhood. The, if you after the tensoring, that is as one to that for some phi and. So then you define the quasi. Yes. We need it, and the case of normal form is after the ramification, it becomes normal form. But x hat is not the completion of x along d. Uh, it's a little bit complete. It's uh, along the strata. Uh, I don't think so. No, I think it's okay. Uh, I think so. I think by that it's okay. Okay, so so you and this is let us say mm. so this means that it's the ring space obtained by the inverse limit of infinitesimal neighborhoods of D, mm -hmm. considering let us say in the analytic case the usual topology or in the algebraic Ah, you, you do it in which analytic case or in the... Ah, you mean this one? The theorem on the... Ah, the complex one? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. So it's a complex topology. Yeah. So... So that is a, a asymptotic version of this one. And 
えっと、望月 have proved that, that formal statement implies the asymptotic statements. So then asymptotic statement, so that, that is given in terms of asymptotic expansions. Okay, so then what happens? Then we have Yeah, then I think that, that, that I, the repetition, but so many statements for irregular D modules can be reduced to the normal form case. So that is uh, similar to the regular case. So we consider a statement for irregular and uh, for polynomic dx module m and we assume the conditions f then is true for any So that is a uh, similar to the, so uh, one so A is uh, locality. I'll not repeat it. So if the statement is true locally, then it is true for M. And uh, ah, and not holonomic DX no. For M in X, sorry. So MN and uh, stable by distinguished triangles. So distinguished triangles and PXM, PXM double prime, implies PXM. And stable by direct summon implies PPXM. And F is projective. And M is X and good module. So more or less that is has a global defined filtration. <coughs> then PXM implies the direct image. <coughs> and the last condition is M has a normal form. Then PXM holds. So usually those proportions are we can prove somewhat. And so more or less this lemma says by some procedure we can reduce to a normal form case. So that is this one. Ah, so quasi normal just to compare with skin line. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. So, that's, but, so of course, the, as we, it's a case and normal case, but TP star M is normal, and then P star M is true, and M is a direct summand. So, by using those ones, so case and normal case is it also true. Then uh, by Mochizuki Ketulaya, you, uh, by the blow up, 
then d f star m. So that has a case a normal form. So the statement p is true for this one. Then you go to the direct image. Then m is again. Because you need some induction of the support. Because yes, if it is that's right. Lower support, then you have to resolve the signal. Yeah, so that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. And because of this one, you can get it smaller. <coughs> yeah. So that is the way. So, so the strategy is by using this lemma or by using the Kedrea Mojic theorem. We did the statement to a normal form case. And uh, we have to do it. So th th that is a strategy. <coughs> OK. <coughs> yeah, so let me see. <coughs> So in order to do that, at least we have to know the following one. So assume that phi is, phi is a memory function whose pole is contained in a normal crossing divisor D. Then drum, enhanced drum of the exponential model. So what is this one? So that is, I think, uh, I erased already, perhaps. So that can be calculated easily. And that is given by dx. dx is a dimension and u is a, uh, x minus uh, d, <coughs> the complement. Or there are many ways to write it. So for example, cx is plus e home minus u t is a part of phi dx or you, 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 you can put it inside there are many ways so uh, I think it will uh, t equal what plus one So that is a typical case, so drum case. Yeah. OK, so what to start? Yeah, for example, so that is a theorem. We put those kind of theorem first theorem. Assume that M is holonomic. Then you have the enhanced drum. <coughs> and that is, in fact, our construct. Mm. 
we call that that, uh, that is that our constructor means locally that is of this form and f is our constructible in CX. So it comes from a sheaf. <coughs> okay. Yes, for example, in this case, it is the case that turns And this one is our construct. OK, so how to prove it? I don't, I'll not explain the detail. Yes? It's a degree of CX cos seven P, yes. Ah, yes, I'm sorry. Yes. <clears throat> so we use this lemma and we reduce to the normal case. I think it, uh, I will not uh, state for the those one and but uh, we consider the, the statement that PXM such that gram X M is are constructible and we prove those properties and the problem is we have to prove uh, we reduced to the normal form case and for th those ones and I think uh, we can see it rather easily with the help of uh, the theory of tempered distributions and tempered homework functions. Okay, so <clears throat> so to how to prove where is yeah. So, <clears throat> how to prove that statement in the normal form case? Then, in the normal form case, if you go to upstairs, x tilde, then m has a normal form. So, we have to compare drum on the upstairs, x tilde, and on x. And that, that is done in the following way. So you have x t tilde and x and so that is zero to the pi and uh, that total space that has is a real analytic neighborhood of x t tilde and similarly you have r infinity to infinity and uh, So we define the drum, enhanced drum on X. And so now I'm going to define enhanced drum on X tilde. And we compare drum upstairs on X tilde and drum downstairs on X. So that is a strategy. And so we do the similar thing to, the, to define drum. It, it, usual enhanced drum. So it means, uh, you remember that we first t. So we define plus e home. Well, so that is e i so 
that is a temporal distribution defined on this space. But of course, that is the dx a is a differential operator on x with coefficient in a. And a acts, of course, this temporal distribution because a is the holomorphic, the sheaf of holomorphic functions tempered along the boundary. So there's an action. So that is a Tolbo action, the connection. So that exists always. And so you define OX tilde E. So that, that, that at a similar way, the corresponding Oh, perhaps, perhaps, ah, oh, perhaps I did the drum. Ah, oh, well. oh, yeah, perhaps I, I, I was wrong. I think the art is correct. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, the, that is your question. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. So that is. Dx tilde. Ah, no, 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 no. Let me see. And so that is the one. T and DBE, X tilde, say. So that is uh, DET tensor. T uh, and OX tilde E. I think uh, so it must be this one at home. I think uh, I did something wrong. So that is E with the coefficient in dx tilde a. So dx tilde a acts on ox tilde a. <coughs> I think, I, think it, uh, I was wrong in the de definition of, I think all are erased. I think we define, or I defined in this way. So that is false. It is, uh, I think if we say that, we need the topology dx. Minus dx, uh, uh, minus dx. I'm sorry. So at our home is correct. So the correct answer is home, home x, dx. So that is a correct. That is okay. Anyway, <clears throat> so we define in this way. So that is a counterpart of OXE in the upstairs, and the. So that has a dx module structure, and you go up by omega pi upper shriek, then it is isomorphic to Ox tilde e. Ox tilde e is a complex of dx tilde e module. And so, so the advantage of this one is this one, a priori, this one does not have a dx a action. But since they are isomorphic, this has a dx, dx a action. So you can go to the dx a. So that is an idea. And so, so the, that is a consequence if you go downstairs, that is OX. Okay. <clears throat> so th those are the two relations. So, so this proportion says, 
uh, I think that, that part is important, so I'll repeat it. So this one has originally only a dx action. But if you go up onto x tilde, then it admits a, a action, a symptotic action also. <coughs> so that is an advantage. OK. <coughs> so now I'm going to prove this theorem. And by the devisage, I mean by that using that lemma, we can reduce to the R constructivist. Oh, no, no, the, 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 the normal form case. Hmm? Let me see. It's uh, still five minutes. Yeah. It, uh, uh, yeah, not too short, but it's a, uh, yeah. So you define E, M. So that is, uh, say, M A, so that is A tensor dx. To the E M A is drawn E X M because of this. <coughs> so now the strategy is the following, and of course the Drum x to the e m a is isomorphic to upstairs. And so you go up and down by using these functors. It comes from the to, to isomorphism. <coughs> OK, so the strategy is the following. So you have a normal form m. You go up, so that is isomorphic to MA. And MA is local uh, isomorphic to the exponential module, MA. And so, and uh, so the RAM X tilde E MA is local isomorphic to the RAM e x tilde exponential of e a is isomorphic to e by the RAM x e exponential of e. <coughs> okay. And uh, this one, we know it already. And that is our constructive. And so it's an inverse image, a pachyric. That is locally, uh, that is R constructive. And so that is R constructive. And so that is R constructive because R constructivity is a local notion. So that is a local isomorphism, uh, but that is locally R constructive. So globally R constructive. So if you go down, so that is R constructive. 